Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about earthquake effects on communities. This will be the fourth quarter topic and learning competency number 3. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to. First is to describe the effects of earthquake. The second one is to identify the relationship between the earthquake magnitude and its effect on communities. And the third one is to appreciate the importance of earthquake preparedness and mitigation efforts in reducing the impacts on communities by answering the reflection of learning. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will play the news about the magnitude 7.4 earthquake that happened in Surigao del Sur last December 2, 2023. And after that, the students will answer the following question. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is a sudden and violent shaking of the ground caused by the abrupt movement of large section of the Earth's crust known as tectonic plates. These plates are constantly in motion and when they grind, collide, or pull apart, the resulting stress and pressure can cause the ground to shake violently. The following are the earthquake effects on communities. Earthquakes are powerful natural disasters that can have devastating effects on communities. The extent of damage depends on the earthquake's magnitude, proximity to populate areas and communities' infrastructure and preparedness. The following are the magnitude scales such as the richer, moment, and energy. Richer scale measures the amplitude of seismic waves recorded on the seismograph. It is a logarithmic scale, meaning that each whole number increase represents a tenfold increase in wave amplitude. While the moment magnitude scale, it is based on the amount of energy released by the earthquake, calculated from the area on the fault rupture and the amount of sleep along the fault. And the last one is the energy scale. The energy scale measures the total amount of energy released by an earthquake and expressed in joules. It is more precise measure of the energy released by an earthquake than the richer scale. The following are the ground shaking, frequency, amplitude, and duration. Frequency of the ground shaking, it refers to the number of vibration per second, which can affect the type of damage to the structure, while the amplitude of the ground shaking is the maximum displacement of the ground during the earthquake and determining the severity of the shaking. The duration of ground shaking is the length of time that the ground vibrates, which can also contribute to the damage. Damage. The following are the surface faulting and ground deformation. Fault ruptures, it is where the earthquakes often cause the ground to break along the existing fault lines, resulting in visible cracks and displacement of the earth's surface. While the ground deformation can also occur during earthquakes, leading the changes in elevation and the shape of the land. 
The following are the liquefaction and the soil failures. Liquefaction is occur when saturated or loose soil loses its strength and behaves like a fluid under the pressure of seismic waves. While the soil failures can occur as a result of liquefaction or other ground shaking leading to landslide, slope, instability, and damage to foundation. The following are the landslide and slope instability. The following are the tsunamis and coastal impacts. The following are the earthquake resilience and mitigation strategies.